Ian Lightbody. Good afternoon, Mr Chairman, um, or is it now good evening? Yes. <laughs> the beauty of having no windows is we'll never know. So. Um, NAB board members and fellow attendees, as my Australian bank uh, warrior colleague Craig confirmed, I have seen fit to travel here 10,500 miles from Scotland, regrettably on my mother's 89th birthday. I therefore thank you for affording me the opportunity to speak this morning or afternoon or evening. I do get some comfort being so far from home that you've got a Mackay, a McBride and a McEwen on your top table providing me with a Scottish flavour of connection. Before I present my specific question, may I endorse your earlier most appropriate um, comments that for those affected by the recent events here and in, indeed in New Zealand, and I'm sure I bring the sincerest thoughts and sympathies to those affected from your friends and your allies in the UK. In late January this year, I, along with Australian Bank Warrior colleagues, attended the CYBG remediation, or the CYBG um, AGM in, in Melbourne, another wonderful city. This being shortly before the final Royal Commission on Banking was published here in Australia. I am chairman of the CYBG remediation support group in the UK. The founding principle of our group actually was based on Catherine Griffiths, the banking editor of the Times article which was published earlier that week on the 23rd of January. She states, Australia needs stability in its banking sector, so does Britain. To bring it about, banks everywhere seem to do far more to truly act in the customer's interest as opposed to being as aggressive as possible over issues such as remediation for past wrongs. Will it happen? She asks. Sadly, I doubt it. Our experience since of your former subsidiary CYBG and its self-opinioned top team so far vindicates Catherine's well-founded scepticism. My specific question to you today, the Chair, Mr Chairman, is that on a number of occasions since meeting him, Mr Duffy, and his so-called top team here in Australia, Mr Duffy, your appointee, consistently has referred us back here to NAB particularly those of our members who are victims where NAB had sold their loans to the American Vulture Fund Cerberus in 2015. When we met yesterday with your executive management team members, Jocelyn and Nathan, they categorically stated that Mr Duffy had recently denied making these numerous recommendations to refocus our remediation intentions here to NAB, as opposed to working with his demerge bank in the UK. My simple question here for you today, Mr Chairman, is do you endorse your colleague's statements regarding Mr Duffy's misleading ass assertions? Um, so I'm not aware of Mr Duffy's uh, comments. Indeed, I don't think I've ever met Mr Duffy. Um, the separation of CYB predated my joining the NAB board. Um, but if Ms uh, Jocelyn Turner and Mr Nathan Goonan said it, uh, I would back them. Thank you for that. In conclusion, I thank you for accommodating uh, me and my colleague, fellow um, UK bank warrior John Guidi, who will speak shortly. And we now look forward to a fair and meaningful remediation solution with your assistance. I hope that you've been briefed that we had initially a very constructive meeting yesterday. Yep. Thank you, Ross. Great. Your resultant obligations may result in a fairly sizable but manageable legacy outlay similar to your er earlier verbal commitment. In this case, for our group, it, as it stands, we have suggested somewhere between 50 and 70 million sterling. But as you alluded in your opening remarks, we will be judged collectively by actions and not by words. Many thanks. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your email updates uh, prior to it. And I apologise that we were in uh, board meetings for the last two days, so I wasn't able to meet with you personally. 